Hello everyone, welcome to www.myonlineedu.com's video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will see how to install Oracle Database Express Edition. So, to install this, you have to go www.oracle.com and then you have to download the Oracle Database 11G Express Edition. You have to accept the license agreement and then you have to click on the link which is most suitable for your desktop or laptops operating system version I have Windows 64 bit so I'll click here which will lead me to a page which will ask me to sign in I already have an account to download if you don't have any account you can create an account which is completely free so once you create an account then you sign in with your username and password it will ask for you to download i already have downloaded this particular software into my local machine so i am not going to show you that part how to down download that particular software so once it is downloaded one and then you unzip this particular zip file which will create this folder disk one inside this disk one there is a folder called setup.exe you double click the setup.exe it will start installing oracle database express edition into your local machine so it has started installing so i'll just when it is getting installed i'll just talk to you regarding what the oracle database 11g express edition is and how how beneficial or how you can utilize this particular software as you know oracle database is a very widely used database software in the world and oracle has given this software this express edition specially to install it into your local machine normally the oracle databases are installed in a particular server and you connect to that server using the oracle client from your local machines but since here for most of the developers or learners they lack the oracle server installation so oracle has given a express edition which will install a database into your local machine this database oracle database express edition is very much useful for learners developers and and anybody who wants to have a hands-on on oracle database so the the good part of this software is you don't need any server it's a very light version which you can install into your local machine okay i'll just start the installation i'll accept the license agreement and then i'll click next and uh, just be sure that this is getting installed in c oracle exc c oracle xc i'm sorry c drive oracle xc folder i'll click next so now it is asking me to enter a system uh, password which i'll which i'll give as a oracle and then I'll click next and now it will start install this is the firewall message that I get you may not get into your local machine when you will install if you are if you don't have this particular firewall so you can ignore that message so I'll basically skip this part when it is getting installed as you can see now this particular software is getting installed and i'm getting these messages because of my firewall please excuse me for that so once this is getting installed so uh, let us wait for this particular installation to be finished as you can see that installation is now almost and the finishing line it is configuring configuring the database now 
okay as you can see it the installation has finished so i'll click finish now i'll get it started the oracle database express edition 11g so 11g is nothing but the version of the oracle database we have 9i 10g 11g and the most recent is 12c but unfortunately express edition is not available for 12c so i'll start by starting the database first mostly it is started every time like it gets installed for the first time i'll get it started like when you reboot it gets started automatically so now the database has started so remember our system uh, password was oracle so now again what we'll do is we'll run the sql command line where we'll give connect then system the username and then the password as oracle we'll press enter you see this is connected so that means the installation goes fine there is no problem with installation we are able to connect with the database now just to give an give you an example like how uh, just i'll run a select this is date from dual which will give me the current system date so this is working fine so now since oracle has been installed into your machine successfully now let me show you one more thing that how you can create a workspace or a database user uh, through this particular stuff so i'll get to the I'm sorry about this okay to troubleshoot the issue what I have done is I have came to my install path then which was Oracle XE then under that app directory then Oracle directory then product directory then 11.2.0 then server here we'll find lots of short uh, lots of links and basically what I'll do database homepage it will ask for my username and password which I'll give as a system and the password was Oracle so I'll click OK so it says it's not found that's fine so then again I'll go to the get started page it is the same error okay I got a solution for this problem which is basically your local machine may not have been configured properly for the url 127.0.1 sometimes it depends on your local machine's host name so instead of doing this just put a local host click ok that's fine what we'll do is we'll copy this one and then paste into our Firefox browser see the basic Oracle database XE page uh, the Oracle database Express Edition page opens up and here uh, the first thing that you have to do is you can go to the application Express put your system username and password is oracle so now you are logged in into application express basically in application express what you can do is you can create a new database so we will not touch system for our work we will create our own database for our handworks our projects or our whatever we want to do we will do it in our with our user will not touch system as a an user so here we'll create our database username which will be let's say my on line edu and then application express username we can have the same name my on line edu and password will say oracle one two three 
oracle123 as a confirmation password i'll create the workspace so the workspace is getting created well the successfully created workspace my online edu click here to login so basically it will ask for the my online edu.com and uh, sorry my online edu as a username and then give a password as oracle123 so i have logged in successfully and then just to give an you know sql command from this whether it is working fine or not i'll just put select star from all tables I'll, I'll ask it to run voila so all the tables that this particular user which is my online edu has it has been listed so let's take a look at what are the tables that it has so let me run one more query that is select star from emp dp the EPT department table let me run this one yes so the department table exists here so by default by default keep it in mind that by default when you create a user oracle creates this particular DEPT table and EMP which is for employees table and DEPT for department table by default it creates so yes so basically we'll use this table structure dept and emp wh when we will be you know doing the tutorial uh, into the, our courses so uh, since this is done another one more thing that i wanted to show you that now how you can connect this with the oracle ide which is the sql developer sql developer tool is a very good tool that you can use to write your query write your programs and then run them execute them compile them whatever you want as you can see this is the part this is a web based page where you can run the your sql queries but there are few limitations for example here you see you cannot see all the lines because it says 10 rows returned so basically you know you have to to see all the rows you have to change the configuration of this particular browser based pages so the best option will be to go to go to a particular ide that is uh, that is a basically tool to run your queries so i'll again go to oracle.com and i'll download and here you know i'll download the developers tool which is a sql developer and here once you do this you now you do the same thing but keep in mind that you are downloading sql developer 4.1 but i'll prefer to download my my preferred version will be downloading uh, oracle 3 version sql developer 3.0.04 which you can also search your google or oracle uh, page and then you can download that basically uh, once you download this particular stuff then you unzip this and you get this folder and that's it no installation is required so now oracle sql developer once you run it you don't need to install this you just copy the zip file you unzip the file and the oracle uh, developer starts i have not used this version sql developer 4.1 but yes you can always explore this particular stuff this is the message from my firewall i'll allow it so once this sql developer is done now the first thing let me delete the existing um, connection okay so basically you will get it like this there will be no connection so i'll make the connection first so let us do a connection so i'll to give a connection name which will be my my online edu connection and then i'll make it xc that 
to just to point that my online ID is the username pointing to standard edition. Username is my online edu. Password is Oracle one two three. I'll save my password and then I'll keep my local host as a host name. Port one five two one is absolutely fine and then SID as XE which is fine. I'll test it to success then I connect it as you can see that my online XC this particular stuff they have all now it it is very easier to work on a IDE rather than a web based pages so now since you have this one I'll write a sample query select this date from 12 and then run this button which is to run your set statement it will show you excuse me it will run your today's date and just to show you select star from all tables and another shortcut is control enter if you press control and then enter sorry I misspelled the table name so press the control enter is same as pressing that run statement button so here the name of the tables that this particular user my online edu has and in this my online edu as you can see there are many 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 tables that oracle creates like the demo uh, states demo order items these are basically demo tables along with the emp and department table which we can use to for our learning purposes or development purposes or doing anything so once this is done another now i'll connect my new connection with the system so it will be system under underscore xv and then system is my username here oracle is my password save password i'll keep rest of the thing as it is and then i'll test it and i'll then connect it so system is also connected now i'll do select star from all underscore tables and then once i run it here the tables name that belongs to the system user as you can see here is no employee emp or dept tables being created because this is the system scheme so owner is sys and here for the uh, for the emp and dept table the owner is my online edu so that's it for the tutorial i hope this helped if you have any question just put a comment and uh, obviously you know go ahead and attend our courses uh, wish you a very happy learning thank you very much